when we imported this data we got all our strings and symbols etc but we didn't get a triangulation now we could triangulate this data but it's always a good idea wherever possible to get your triangulation from a third party as well if you haven't done the survey so we're going to look at importing a DWG file which contains the faces of the triangulation and we'll show you how to triangulate it we're going to read in the DXF faces or DWG faces by going to file IO data input DWG DXF we're going to select our file by clicking on the folder icon once again we have no data inside our working folder so we need to go to browse go up one level and we should find a file there called triangles.dwg double click on that to select it we're not going to map our data when we read it in this time but we will give it a prefix of lowercase survey space and it will set our null level value from minus 999 to 0 this means that any data that has a height of 0 will come in with a null height we can simply hit read and you'll notice that our triangulation now displays inside our data input plan but the rest of our data has been turned off so if I hit the minus button I only have that data turned on we can finish on this panel now now that we have the faces for our triangulation we can triangulate this data to do this we go to tins create triangulate data here we're not going to worry about a retriangulation function as what we're doing here is only a temporary thing so we'll just give it a name we'll call this tin ground make sure you hit enter and you'll notice that the model for the tin will automatically be filled in we'll change the color from green because we don't want to be matching the existing triangles we'll just make it magenta and because it is triangle data we want 12D to match this data exactly so we click on the triangle data checkbox we then go to the data tab and select the model that our data is in which is called survey triangles and then we can hit triangulate you can now turn on that model tin ground and you'll see that the new triangles exactly match the existing data that we read in including where there was a void or an area that hadn't been triangulated and also around the outside exactly what's been nulled has been taken into consideration so this is the preferred way of bringing in data where from a third party package where they can't provide a 12D ASCII of the existing tin and the triangles as I said before this is only a temporary thing to show you how to do it so we don't actually want this tin or these models so we're going to go ahead and delete uh, the triangulation and the models that it's contained in first of all you can finish on that panel then you can go to tins delete delete all tins make sure you tick on this permanently delete and that'll stop it going into the trash can you can hit delete say yes to that and then go to models delete delete all models permanently delete once again delete and yes so we now should have a blank project the most common way of bringing data into 12d is via a DWG file so we're going to read the data that we just had on our screen this time we're going to read it in as a DWG file we can go to file IO data input DWG DXF DXB once again go and find the file and you'll need to go up one level and it's called detailsurvey.dwg in this case we are going to use a mapping file so we click on the map file icon walk right on the user library and select our detail survey version 10 map file we're going to prefix our models with survey as we did previously and because we're using a map file we want to when we bring in our blocks we don't want them to go to symbols we want them to go to points and to allow the map file to create the symbols you can then click on read your data will come in and if we zoom in 
you can see that we have our symbols, line styles, colors, and all our data has gone to the correct layers.